Hi everyone, Rhonda back again. Another day, another dish. Today I'm making chicken korma, but made differently. I've got so many ways to making one dish. This is another way of mine. So let me show you my ingredients. Is. This is uh, chicken, 500 grams, the usual I normally take. It's, I'm making chicken and egg korma. Here are six eggs that I've hard boiled. Here are the potatoes that I use. Now you can use or not use. It's up to you, optional. Uh, here's one large and one small onion which I'll be frying. Here is the water that I soaked my Kashmiri chilies in. Here are the masalas that I've used. In this I put, now differently I've done it, I put uh, seven Kashmiri chilies with seeds I've removed and soaked in hot water for 20 minutes, one and a half inch ginger, 15 cloves of garlic, uh, one, in, one large and a small onion, same as this, it's here. Then I put a heap tablespoon of coriander, whole coriander. You can use powder if you wish. Uh, that's it. Oh, and curd, I put three spoons. Three heaped tablespoons of curd. So in this, there is curd, onion, ginger garlic, and coriander. Okay, now this is it. I am making a vegetable palau. Here it's all washed and ready for me to make. This I will not be showing you as I have done it quite a couple of times. So these are the ingredients. Uh, my uh, garam masalas I have to put in. I haven't dropped them out. It's the usual five uh, cloves, five cardamoms and one inch piece of uh, cinnamon and one or two, no one bin. That is the normal, okay? So here are the ingredients and I'll meet you up. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, one sec. Let me marinate this in front of you. And I'm using my fingers as I have already washed it. Just marination is better when done with the hand actually. Here, just a sec. Let's empty this. Now this is for all, all of you who have just joined. So for all of you who have just joined, my procedure is normally the same for everything, but of course there are different, various ways I have to the making of one dish. I don't stick to one. I keep experimenting and changing. Alright, now this is it. At the end of the curry, I will be adding a curd. Okay, now I'm putting, now I'm adding the masala water to the jar like I normally do and I use it while cooking. This also helps in giving the curry the color it normally gets with the chilies. This is done. Now I'm marinating the chicken. This I'll keep marinated for two hours. Actually, it's better when it's marinated overnight or for six hours or four hours. But that's when you're doing a big amount. At times when I'm doing it normally for the house at home, I just marinate it an hour. But since I have time today, I'm marinating it for two hours. Okay? Here it's marinated. And now I'll meet you at my stove after two hours. 
Okay, I got my dough. I got in my chicken and egg korma. Today I'm using white oil, sunflower refined. One cup, not half cup which I normally use. Yeah. One. This I'm using because I have to fry the potatoes, the onion. That's the reason I'm taking a cup of it. And korma does need a little extra oil. Let the oil heat. Alright, now I'm adding the potatoes. I use the cover to over the flash as the way it normally does. So now let them brown. Alright, the potatoes are brown. So now I'm removing them. Don't brown them too much. It's golden. We have done the heat to low. I've turned the heat to low and I be trying the mixture. Alright, so the eggs are lightly fried, now I'm removing them. Here the eggs. Now next. Onion. These are brown and I'll just take out a little for garnishing and continue with my korma. Alright, my onions are done though they can't be seen. <laughs> After I lightly fry the eggs, the uh, oil started bubbling like this. Anyway, I said I'm taking out a, a little for garnishing. Continue with my korma. Now, here yeah, I'm adding my garam masala, like I told you. Five cardamom, five cloves, 
one inch piece of cinnamon I broke and these two small pages. Marinated chicken. Marinated for two hours now. So you, today I made it different. I ground the masalas with the curd. Ginger, garlic, onion and coriander. And of course my Kashmiri chilies to get the color. Now I put the heat back to high, and five minutes on high heat. Alright, five minutes is up on high heat. I mixed it once in between. Turn the chicken over, doing again. Now, now I'm adding the potatoes. Mix till it's well combined with all the masala, chicken. Okay. Five minutes on low heat. Turning it to low. Five minutes. All right. Five minutes on low heat with the potatoes are over, but I kept it for eight minutes. I wanted the masalas to steep in a little more. Okay. So well, here's it. Look how lovely it's looking. My egg and chicken korma. Egg will be added, added at the end of course. Alright, now. I'm adding a cup of the retained water I took the chilies in. Mix it all well combined. See, nothing is touching at the bottom. If it is, release it now. My nothing is touching because I turn them twice in between. And the usual after the whistle, six minutes on. See, I've turned it to high. Okay, the whistle is gone. I'm putting it on till six minutes. I told you six minutes on sim. Six minutes pass. I allowed the steam to escape. Wow, see my korma, lovely. Let me release it slightly from the bottom.
Yeah, putting the stove on. Take the salt first. No other word to say but delicious. Salt is perfect. Now I'm adding the eggs. It is adding the balance to retain water. Now I'll bring it to a boil. Let it cook 5 minutes, cover. So the masalas will seep into the egg, the gravy will be made. And I'll get back to you. Okay, 5 minutes is up. Put the egg in. See the oil is separating. Now I'll take pig, plate it. Okay. Give it this first. I'll give it a standing time of 20 minutes, and I'll plate it, take pigs and share the written recipe with you. Thanks for being with me through all of this. Hope you'll like it. And if you'll try, please give me your feedback. It will be highly appreciated. It's tasty. Lovely. Alright. Bye for now. See you all tomorrow.